there is my, um, you know, this, this, this passion that I have that I'm just scared that it's going to go away. Only a few days into the new school year, and some teachers say they're having a hard time dealing with the new COVID-19 protocols. Like making sure a classroom of young children washes their hands up to 14 times a day. May seem simple when you're at home like me, but think about it. 20 seconds per hand washing, that's about five minutes a day per child, maybe even 75 minutes a day per class, depending on the class size and how efficient they can be. And while that's going on, teachers aren't teaching. I'm so stressed and overwhelmed with all the things that I have to keep in, in mind and like, okay, did we wash our hands? It's snack time. Usually it's snack time and just go grab your snack. But now it's like, wait a minute, put everything away, go wash your hands, grab your snack, eat your snack, go back, wash your hands again. Maha Kasef teaches grade two and four part-time at a French elementary school in Montreal's Pierrefonds. As long as they're behind their desks, I'm able to socially distance, but I have to be right at the board or right up behind my desk. It's not the same. I mean, I've been teaching since 2006. So this is the least exciting back to school I've had. I've heard of horrible things such as principals asking teachers to bring chairs from home for teachers to go to Costco to get cleaning supplies. So I feel like a lot is put on teachers in certain schools and that's really bad. And I feel like the anxiety is really, really high. Burnout is a risk for teachers. That's the number one reason for teachers for leaving the profession. So I think that the, the likelihood of burnout now is higher than ever. Quebec's Workers Labour and Safety Board and Public Health say they're sending in health supervisors to reinforce hygiene protocols. But Maha says teachers also need help from parents. But to sit down with their kids regularly and have these quick reminders in the morning before they drop them off of like, listen to the rules, follow social distancing, wash your hands without making a fuss about it. Since schools reopened at the end of August, five Quebec City schools are seeing COVID-19 outbreaks, putting 100 students in isolation. North of Montreal, six teachers have now contracted the virus at a De Montagne high school and dozens more are in isolation. This as the province battles a shortage of teachers. Montreal alone is missing more than 260. There's a lot of, of kids right now who don't have a qualified teacher. And as soon as a qualified teacher is missing, missing work for health reason or because they can't handle it anymore. There's no substitute teacher to take that spot often. I don't know how long I will be able to keep it up. And the only, and honestly, why didn't I stay home? I didn't want to leave those kids without a teacher. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.